Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update, giveaway, and what's new. As usual, we are going to start with our giveaway. If you wanted to participate in this, you'll need to have left a comment on last week's live, or not live stream, sorry, shop update video. Um, <clears throat> and that will put your name in the hat for this week's shop update uh, giveaway. And if you want to participate for next week, just leave a comment down below on this video, not in the premiere chat, though. Hey, everybody in the premiere. I hope y'all are doing really well. Typically on our shop updates, I start hanging out in the premiere chat at around 1130 a.m. Central Standard Time. So if you guys have any questions or just want to like catch up and chill out, um, that's a wonderful place to do that. And we kind of just hang out with our cups of coffee, which I have not made yet today. I don't know what's wrong with me, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, leave a comment down below and then we go over to you random comment picker on for like for YouTube. Uh, we're giving away one of our dragon eye necklaces. We're still, I'll, I'll catch you up in a sec about um, our kilns, but we're still giving away one of our dragon eyes because we're still working on getting all of our kilns back up and going. Um, and so it, it'll be a minute before we have our booty boxes back up for giving away. But until then, there's a link down in the video description where you can pick out your dragon eye if you're the giveaway winner. Um, if you live outside of the United States, you can participate, but we send out digital winnings instead of a uh, something that we have to actually ship because that's quite expensive. But let me go ahead and get this camera flipped around and we'll see who our winner is. Okay, so drum roll. We will click it and we will like brrrr. And this week's winner is Katrine. Oh, Thor's Dotier. I don't know how to pronounce that, but Katrine, you win. You win a winner chicken dinner. Katrine says, thank you for the lovely update, man. It's our pleasure. If you could send us your where you would like your dragon eye shipped to and which dragon eye you would like, which let me actually pull up our website to show y'all. So congratulations, Katrine. But if you come here to backtoearthcreations.com and then we come in, let me see. Can you see everything on this? Let me mess about with the tripod. Ultra, ultra pro level video quality here. Um, <clears throat> and you could click on our shop or in the drop down menu up here, there's dragon scale necklaces. So if you click shop on the main part, then it's, you know, cabochons, craft along materials, patterns, jewelry for sale. Um, but you'll want to just head up here to the shop drop down menu, dragon scale necklaces and click that. And then it'll say the item number, like this one's DE1, DE2, DE4. And you'll just say which dragon eye you would like and we'll pull that down off the website for you. And we have a whole plethora of them in a bunch of different, we have like pages and pages and pages of dragon eyes because so that's what we are fixated on for a little bit, uh, making, but we have a bunch for you to choose from. And if you find yourself in a shopping mood, uh, you can use coupon code happy crafter, like not for our giveaway winners, but just for anybody, you could use happy crafter, uh, no punctuation or spaces or anything. And that'll get you 10% off your order. And if you sign up for our free newsletter, there's a 15% off coupon that comes in those emails. And we'll send out emails every Monday, Thursday, and Friday uh, to our newsletter uh, folks. And that's just to let you know about our shop update, to let you know about our new tutorials, and to let you know about our live streams. Um, and then if you join our Happy Crafter Club for as little as a dollar a month, uh, either on our website, backtoearthcreations.com, or as a YouTube channel member, um, or as a Patreon supporter, uh, that gets you a 20% off coupon, as well as access to our after parties uh, for the live streams, and you get like first dibs on our shop updates and different things like that. So if you're one of our club members, you can expect an email on Sundays, as well as an extra email on Fridays that'll have that streaming link um, there in the email for you. Uh, so I think that's everything. If y'all have any questions about any of that stuff, just leave a comment down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. And now let's check out and see what has been new this week. Cause we have been like busy, but in a really good way. And so I'm just trying to like figure out how to articulate, like, cause it's been very, Maddie's still here, our niece. We've kidnapped her for the summer and it's a, uh, it's just the best. Like we absolutely love hanging out, but we're also still prepping for dragon, still trying to get caught up on the kiln. So, um, let's start with the kiln. Big Blue still is not here yet. We, they've, 
I still don't know when it's gonna get here, but we still have this nice big makey spot that I've filled up with other stuff, um, waiting waiting for our new kiln or for our old kiln to come back home. And now our new kiln, Little Blue, um, has been. I was having some wiring issues and then apparently like something about about an electromagnetic field and I was like that sounds so sci-fi but apparently it's a very sensitive like a delicate instrument and the other wires had shifted to where they were like there was a clump of wires here and then the thermocoupling wire was going around that other cluster um, of wires and it was messing with the readings apparently because I had I had sent kiln frog who we had purchased through because it's another paragon kiln but I sent them a message and I was like it's not even giving me an error number it's just saying error and then the numbers are going every which way and they're like yeah you might want to take that off and just check and see if the wires are connected well and stuff so I was like okay but it worked like I didn't like typically my way of like doing like maintenance or tech or on anything like electronical or like ad advanced beyond an abacus basically is to like smudge it and pray that it just starts working like I don't know what I'm doing so to be like it was out of my comfort zone but I was like oh well, that wasn't so bad and then but just to be able to say electromagnetic field like it sounds so sci-fi like so like something up in space not something in my kiln um but that was a lot of fun so that's taken care of so now we're back to running two batches a day in little blue um oh so we're hoping to get caught up but then I ran out of glass um because why not like I just I didn't order enough I guess and then I got it all like so we're having to fool about with that and get that figured out because I'd intended to do sheet melts, but Little Blue isn't big enough to do sheet melts. So now it's just, we had a plan and plans only survive the first contact with reality. So um, <laughs> this is what we're working with. Now I do want to show y'all what I've been making this week though. So here you can see we have a whole mess of earrings in the works. Just making little drop earrings. We had gone to Michael's and gotten a whole bunch of like, they are having like four for $10 for a lot of their beads and stuff. And then this is one of the bead organizers from our buddy Gavin that he, he 3D prints and sent us. And I had made some of these uh, Deathly Hollows style earrings with the little spinny bead in the ball. And then, ooh, some of these with the Hamsa hands with all sorts of different gemstones. I love these so much. And then a bunch of different spiral earrings. And then I think we had made these last week. But so we got a bunch of that stuff made. So I'll just leave that set in there. And then over here, you can see I had gotten some of these charms and I didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to utilize them the way that I thought I would. So I ended up making like a bunch of these same style of necklace just to have for in the booth for like selling super affordable these are all the ones that we had made last week well, and then some extra too and then oh I'm getting back into doing some steampunky stuff with keys and wings and like layered gears and key charms and then some moths and turtles and just a bunch of like bead strung and mullet style necklaces and so it's I mean that's quite a bit of like you can see a couple of these are still from last week but I had them um, hanging here on our pegboard because I needed to do the clasps and chains on them which by the way if you are um if you had watched our panda haul uh video probably like our panda haul chain shopping video um the Figaro chain is my absolute favorite. And then this was some of the thinner stuff that was like very, very affordable. It was like the six pack of spools. Um, and that, th those are really nice. I'm definitely going to be ordering more of those. Um, and then as far as any wire wrapping or anything goes, I haven't done a whole lot of it. Um, just because my hands still, uh, I'm trying to give my hand plenty of time and space to heal but it's still kind of nervy, like pinchy twinges uh, whenever I grip too hard when I'm wire wrapping. So I'm having to take it very little bit at a time, going back almost to basics with the fundamentals of just wrapped links and loops um, in an effort to retrain my hand to hold 
things in a way that doesn't cause constant and immediate pain. So uh, we still aren't taking any custom orders. We are not going to be doing any craft alongathons for a while. Um, we're just kind of taking it as it goes. Now we do have a bunch of jewelry, some of that stuff, uh, up on the website as well, left over from last week. And let's see how to shop for that. So if you find yourself in a shopping mood, you just go to the shop tab and drop down to jewelry for sale all. And you could go over to rings, pendants, necklaces, earrings, or we could just click jewelry for sale all. And that'll load this up and there's going to be a whole bunch of dragon eyes um, because I don't know how to organize my website. So if you're looking for, do we have anything under rings? We don't. I should get some rings made and posted for sale. Let me know down in the comments what ring size do you prefer to wear. And so here are some of our pendants. Oh guys, we've got still a whole bunch of these lampwork glass beads left over from last week. And then we have some more necklaces. I'm thinking about getting some earrings added this week. Oh, lots of moon stuff. That was one that Randy had made. Some mermaid pieces, our big chunky owl. Oh, I love that red agate piece. Another lamp work. So yeah, we've got we've got quite a bit of jewelry still up for sale on the website. And don't forget, you can use those coupons. And then do we have anything under earrings? Nope. Well, I definitely need to get some earrings and rings up onto the website. But yeah, loving, loving these little herringbone wrapped lampwork glass beads. I'm hoping maybe while Maddie's here, we might be able to take a trip up to Kansas City and take a lampwork glass class together, or at the very least, just get the torch going here in the house again. So let's go see what's new in this week's shop update. So this week's shop update is rose quartz themed. It's not all just rose quartz, but it's a lot of rose quartz. Now, whenever I had sourced these, I really wanted to get natural undyed rose quartz and it was listed as such, but I am not going to be selling it as undyed because I don't quite trust it. And I don't know how much of it is just that it's strung with these like hot pink um, inside because it doesn't show a lot of the telltale signs of rose quartz that has been dyed. Like it's got some little like frecklings and different things, but that's pretty, I mean, inclusions are not uncommon. Um, but typically whenever it's dyed, you'll see very, anywhere that there's like veining or any cracks in the quartz crystal structure or anything like that, there'll be like a, a concentration of like an almost reddish pink magenta-y dye. Um, and so, Again, it's, I'm just not 100%, and I don't personally know how to really test it. So I think rose quartz is one of those things that until I'm mining it and lapidarying it, my, like labbing it myself, um, I'm just not going to trust that it has not been dyed. Um, but these are very natural looking. Again, it's very misleading to have that um, hot pink you know, kind of inside of it, but you can really get a good idea. I mean, they're still a lovely, nice, gentle pink tone. And they are priced to sell for certain. And we have these in 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter. These are 8 millimeter rose quartz. And there's some natural sunlight on them as well. They're just beautiful, you guys. Which, as much as I love rose quartz, I don't wear it a whole lot because it tends to blend in with my skin complexion, especially up by my my face and neck um but that's okay i still like whenever i wear it i just make sure that it's like framed uh again for my complexion in either like a nice antique copper or a vintage bronze tone um or like some polymer clay or something uh to just frame it because otherwise it just blends right on in but sometimes that's exactly what i'm going for and so these will be listed up on our website under the craft along materials. And there are links down in the video description of this shop update tour um, that will take you directly to our jewelry for sale, our cabochons for sale, our beads for sale, and our kits. So, oh, just love it. And now here, 
you can see we have a little bit of our dichro. We, we were able to make enough extra of that to have some in the shop update. We have some beautiful labradorites, which again, this isn't the best angle, but I don't think I'll ever pick a good angle um, for viewing gemstones when it when I need to. Oh, that one's pretty though. And then we've got a whole bunch of these rose quartz crescent moons. And then some 30 by 22, um, they're not exact, but they're pretty close, millimeter. Oh, I am gonna have to pick a different location, just a sec, you guys. Here we go, I was getting sunburnt just sitting there. <laughs> um, but some beautiful, it's pretty close to being calibrated, but they are not, don't expect a perfect 30 by 22 millimeter. Um, but yeah, undyed natural rose quartz uh, on those cabochons. I do trust the folks we source these from. And so, oh, another beautiful lab. And then some more of those crescent moons. Which some of them will be marked if they aren't, you know, what we consider perfect. Like this one's got a little bit of a straight spot on it. But that's all right. And then some more sparkling purple dichro. These are from our May kits. There we had made a little bit extra. So if you had gotten some of this style of dichroic glass in your May craft along kit and you want some more of it, or if you missed out, we've got some up here for you. And all of the cabochons that we have that are good candidates for having a groove added will have that option there um, on our website. Like you'll just click on the item, like it won't say grooved in the uh, title of the cab. You'll just click on, oh, that's an interesting cab. And you click on it and then it'll have on its page whether or not it's groovable. So. And these are just some of them, you guys. Oh, we also have, I found a few more of these beautiful blossom agate. Which are like a peachy pink tone with these beautiful inclusions and so much character. Like, check that out. That's just stunning. <laughs> um, or I like them at least. But, uh, well, I forget what I was talking about. These are just some of what we have up on the website. <laughs> Y'all, I think these are my favorite dichro. Just the little water droplet styles. Almost like mermaid scales, but not quite. Either way, just gorgeous. Some more stunning labs. Ooh, I like this one. But yeah, so this is this week's shop update. If y'all have any questions, comments, or ideas, or requests for future tutorials or future shop update gemstone types or anything like that, please leave a comment down below. And uh, and we're we're doing a lot better about keeping up on comments and trying to like answer y'all's questions and stuff. And so it's constantly a little bit of a shuffle trying to balance. Um, you know, if I focus too hard on one spot, something else gets neglected. So we're working on it, though, and we're doing a lot better. Maddie's here helping us uh, over the summer, and that is a game changer. So, <laughs> um, yeah. And also, if y'all follow along with any of our tutorials, if y'all follow along with any of our tutorials and would like to, ew, the sun's so bright, um, <laughs> and would like to be featured um, in our monthly craft along uh, tutorial where we do an unboxing of our kits and you know feature our featured artisans, the folks who have been using our cabs, and or following along with our tutorials, you can just send some pictures uh, and whatever whatever name you would like to be presented as, whether it's a business name or like an abbreviated personal name, or if you want your full personal name up or anything like that, just let us know how you would like your name listed and send a picture of your work and we will uh, feature you. So thank you guys so, so much again for being you, for being here and for coming and hanging out and hopefully buying some beads and we will see y'all next time. So until then, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>